Its current capital is Juba, which is also its largest city. It is planned that the capital city will be changed to the more centrally located Ramsiel in the future. South Sudan is bordered by Sudan to the north, Ethiopia to the east, Kenya to the southeast, Uganda to the south, the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the southwest, and the Central African Republic to the west. It includes the vast swamp region of the Sud, formed by the White Nile and known locally as the Bar al-Jabal. The territories of modern South Sudan and the Republic of the Sudan were occupied by Egypt under the Muhammad Ali dynasty, and later governed as an Anglo-Egyptian condominium until Sudanese independence was achieved in 1956. Following the First Sudanese Civil War, the Southern Sudan Autonomous Region was formed in 1972 and lasted until 1983. A second Sudanese Civil War soon developed and ended with the Comprehensive Peace Agreement of 2005. Later that year, Southern Autonomy was restored when an autonomous government of Southern Sudan was formed. South Sudan became an independent state on 9 July 2011, following a referendum that passed with 98.83% of the vote. It is a United Nations member state, a member state of the African Union, and a member state of the Intergovernmental Authority on Development. In July 2012, South Sudan signed the Geneva Conventions. South Sudan has suffered internal conflict since its independence. It has the highest score on the Fragile States Index. History The Nilotic people of South Sudan, the Arkoli, Anuak, Bari, Dinka, Nuer, Shaluk and others, first entered South Sudan sometime before the 10th century. During the period from the 15th to the 19th centuries, tribal migrations, largely from the area of Bar el Ghazal, brought the Anuak Dinka, Nuer, and Shiluk to their modern locations of both Bar el Ghazal and Upper Nile regions, while the Arkoli and Bari settled in Equatoria. The people of South Sudan, the Azandi, Mundu, Avukayar, and Baka, who entered South Sudan in the 16th century, established the region's largest state of Equatoria region. The Azande are the third largest ethnic group in South Sudan while the Bari are fourth largest. They are found in the Maradi, Yambayo, and Tomboa districts in the tropical rainforest belt of western Equatoria, the Adyo of Azande client in Yei. Central Equatoria and Western Bar el Ghazal. In the 18th century, the Avungara Sib rose to power over the rest of Azande society and this domination continued into the 20th century. Geographical barriers prevented the spread of Islam to the southerners, thus enabling them to retain their social and cultural heritage, as well as their political and religious institutions. Slavery had been an institution of Sudanese life throughout history. The slave trade in the South intensified in the 19th century and continued after the British had suppressed slavery in much of sub-Saharan Africa. Annual Sudanese slave raids into non-Muslim territories resulted in the capture of countless thousands of southern Sudanese and the destruction of the region's stability and economy. The Azande have had good relations with the neighbors, namely the Moru, Mundu, Pojulu, Avukaya, Baka and the small groups in Bar el Ghazal. Due to the expansionist policy of their king G. Budwa in the 18th century, in the 19th century, the Azande fought the French, the Belgians and the Mardis to maintain their independence. Egypt, under the rule of Khedive Ishmael Pasha, first attempted to control the region in the 1870s, establishing the province of Equatoria in the southern portion. Egypt's first governor was Samuel Baker, commissioned in 1869, followed by Charles George Gordon in 1874 and by Emin Pasha in 1878. The Mahdist revolt of the 1880s destabilized the nascent province, and Equatoria ceased to exist as an Egyptian outpost in 1889. Important settlements in Equatoria included Lado, Gondo, Koro, Defile and Wadali. European colonial maneuverings in the region came to a head in 1898. 
When the Fushoda incident occurred at present-day Kodok, Britain and France almost went to war over the region. In 1947, British hopes to join South Sudan with Uganda as well as living Western Equatoria as part of Belgium, French Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo were dashed by the Rajiv Conference to unify Northern South Sudan. South Sudan has an estimated population of 8 million, but, given the lack of a census in several decades, this estimate may be severely distorted. The economy is predominantly rural and relies chiefly on subsistence farming. Around 2005, the economy began a transition from this rural dominance, and urban areas within South Sudan have seen extensive development. The region has been negatively affected by two civil wars since Sudanese independence. From 1955 to 1972, the Sudanese government fought the Anyanya rebel army during the first Sudanese civil war, followed by the Sudan People's Liberation Army movement in the second Sudanese civil war for over 20 years. As a result, the country suffered serious neglect, a lack of infrastructural development and major destruction and displacement. More than 2.5 million people have been killed and millions more have become refugees both within and outside the country. Independence between 9 and 15 January 2011, a referendum was held to determine whether South Sudan should become an independent country and separate from Sudan. 98.83% of the population voted for independence. Those living in the north and expatriates living overseas also voted. South Sudan formally became independent from Sudan on 9 July, although certain disputes still remained, including the division of oil revenues, as 75% of all the former Sudan's oil reserves are in South Sudan. The region of Abaye still remains disputed and a separate referendum will be held in Abaye on whether they want to join Sudan or South Sudan. The South Kurdistan conflict broke out in June 2011 between the Army of Sudan and the SPLA over the Nubur Mountains. South Sudan is at war with at least seven armed groups in nine of its ten states, with tens of thousands displaced. The fighters accuse the government of plotting to stay in power indefinitely, not fairly representing and supporting all tribal groups while neglecting development in rural areas. Joseph Kony's Lord's Resistance Army also operates in a wide area that includes South Sudan. Intra-ethnic warfare that in some cases predates the War of Independence is widespread. In December 2011, tribal clashes in Jungulai intensified between the NUER White Army of the Lu NUER and the Merle. The White Army warned it would wipe out the Merle and would also fight South Sudanese and UN forces sent to the area around Pibor. In March 2012, South Sudanese forces seized the Heglidge oil fields in lands claimed by both Sudan and South Sudan in the province of South Kurdistan after conflict, with Sudanese forces in the South Sudanese state of unity. South Sudan withdrew on 20 March, and the Sudanese army entered Heglidge two days later. Civil war in December 2013, a political power struggle broke out between President Kiir and his ex-deputy Reek Maka, as the president accused Mr. Maka and ten others of attempting a coup d'etat. Although both men have supporters from across South Sudan's ethnic divides, subsequent fighting has been communal with rebels targeting members of Mr. Kiir's Dinka ethnic group and government soldiers attacking Nuas. Ugandan troops are also fighting alongside South Sudanese government forces against the rebels. Up to 100,000 people are estimated to have been killed in the Intuan ethnic Dinka NUER conflict. Five officials, including Mr. Maka, are being tried for treason, charges they deny completely, which observers fear will threaten the recent ceasefire. More than one million people have been displaced inside South Sudan and more than 400,000 people have fled to neighboring countries, especially Kenya, Sudan, and Uganda, as a result of the conflict. 
At the end of September 2014, both factions of the SPLM, including SPLMIO, agreed to a long-sought proposal by the opposition and more neutral players to a federalization proposal. Concurring in 2015, this regional conflict was the most deadly and destructive conflict in the country's young history.